Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Vermax bringing you a brand new video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get better at keyboard and mouse in only one week. I know this seems like a short period of time, however, I've made a lot of progress in just over three months on keyboard and mouse. I want to give you guys some tips and what I did daily to get to the level that I am at right now. I get daily comments about people who have made this switch, so I think this is a good video for a lot of the new keyboard and mouse players. Watch until the end of the video for the best results possible. Before we get into the video, you can support me by dropping a like, subscribing, and using code VERMAX. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. When you switch to keyboard and mouse, it is going to feel very overwhelming, and this causes a lot of people to quit and go back to controller. So one of the ways to prevent this is for you to stay motivated. Luckily for you, I have some tips which should help you to stay motivated. So the first and most important tip is for you to play alone. If you go ahead and play with your friends, you will get destroyed, and after dying over and over again, you will lose all the motivation you had. So for the first two to three days, you should play by yourself in your own creative world. I recommend that you practice building and editing. When you do this, you will be learning your new keybinds and sensitivity. Slowly, you will feel more and more comfortable as you get used to everything. Once you have the basics of keyboard and mouse down, you should try to go against some people who are not too good, but are still decent at the game. So I recommend doing some realistic and box fight fills. Another tip which should help you with your motivation is setting short term goals. An example of this is today I want to learn to do some 90s or how to double edit. These goals will push you to grind for something and when you do this, it makes you better. This helps with motivation because the better you get, the more motivation you will have. Every time that you complete one of these short term goals, you get motivation and you are happy that you completed it. This is just a cycle and the more short term goals you achieve, the more motivation you will have. The next tip that will help a lot with your motivation is having confidence. Whenever I am playing, I always tell myself that I am better than my opponent. Your mentality when you're playing is very important. Players can sense when you are playing scared or if you're playing with confidence. Take a pro player like Mongrel or Clix for example. When they're playing in arena, they play it like it is a pub game and they perform at a very high level. Even though both players are mechanical demons, their positive and confident mindset definitely helps them. The last tip I have to help with your motivation is to just throw your controller away. All jokes aside, all you want to do is get your controller away from you. Try not to keep on your desk, because with it being right there, it would be tempting for you to pick up your controller and play with it for a little bit. Just don't grab your controller and you will be guaranteed to progress so much faster. Just do whatever you need to do to not grab the controller. Moving on from motivation, we have repetition. You want to repeat the things you do over and over again. This will build muscle memory, which is very important when you're trying to master keyboard and mouse. Get into creative and repeat your double edits, repeat your 90s, repeat your mongrel classics, and just repeat everything. Remember, this is going to take time and all it is is practice. I know it seems very cliche to say this, but practice makes perfect. Honestly, that is all keyboard and mouse has to it. Just try and maintain your consistency and find a warm-up routine which you can do every day. If you're struggling to find a good warm-up routine, click on the top right hand corner of the screen and I should have a warm-up video. This will run you through all the necessary basics when completing your warm-up routine. Finally, we have analysis. When you're playing, you want to analyze what you're doing and what was the reason for you doing that specific thing. This is just like VOD reviewing. Things you may want to analyze is your building, editing, aim, and movement. Let's say that you notice that your aim seems off because you just switched from aim assist to raw aim on keyboard and mouse. Well then you should focus on that and do some aim maps. A great way to practice your aim is with aim duels. There are also a lot of other maps you can practice your aim with, like the one up on screen right now. I will leave some codes in the description for you guys that are interested in those maps. All you should be doing is looking at your gameplay and identifying your mistakes and working to fix them. This is exactly what separates a good player from a bad one. Another tip that I have for you is to see if you can get some feedback from someone else. This can be through your YouTube videos where you post your progression videos, or if you have a friend who supports you and is willing to watch your gameplay. 
The reason this is so beneficial is because people look at things differently and they can notice mistakes that you yourself did not realize you were doing. For example, someone can realize that when you are building, it is a little shaky or when you're editing, you make very big mouse movements instead of small and precise ones. All these little things that you're improving will eventually make you a better player. To conclude the video, you guys want to stay motivated when you switch to keyboard and mouse. Some ways you can stay motivated is by playing alone for the first couple of days. You want to also make sure you're setting short-term goals which are achievable. Not only that, but when you're playing, you want to have confidence in every fight that you take. Last but not least, if you guys want to have motivation when you switch, don't use your controller. Using your controller will only harm your progression and make you progress slower. The next thing you guys want to focus on is having repetition. By practicing certain things over and over again, you will become very good at it, which will turn you into a very good player. Lastly, we have analysis. When you analyze, you want to see how you're playing and correct your mistakes. You might also want to try and get some feedback of your gameplay. I hope this video has shown you how to take your game to the next level in the span of only one week. I have used all these tips given in this video and I just wanted to help you guys out so you can improve just as fast or even faster than me. If this video has helped you guys out in any way, shape, or form, please don't forget to drop a like and a sub. We are on a road to 10,000 subscribers so every new sub is greatly appreciated. Also, don't forget to use code VERMAX as it helps me out much more than you think. It's been your boy Vermax, stay safe and take care.